They'll know. And you also use the word know. I know my God will supply all my needs according to his riches. Two words that sound the same but have different spelling and different meanings. And he used the thought you know, for us to remember today as we celebrate this season. No and no. When there is no God and no. There is no peace and no. And when we know God, we will also know peace. No God, no peace. No God, no peace. You know what peace is? It's an opening. Peace could be something, you know, like a number of things. Peace could also be a lack of chaos. Or for some of us who live in certain region in the Philippines, peace is also an animal who lives in the water. <laughs> Peaceful? Uh, okay. Fish, but we, you know, person like me, I call it peace. Like me, peace? Uh, anyway. Okay, look, I could hear somebody laugh, so I will, I will finish this up. No God! No peace. Somebody had asked this question. You know, why did God create an eagle? We know a lot of things are going on, wars, rumors of wars, a lot of sufferings are going on this world because there is evil. And if God is so wise, God is so good, if God is so, uh, you know, He knows it all, why did He create an eagle? Good question, isn't it? Here's the thing. God did not create it <coughs> because evil only means an absence of the presence of God. Just like light, we all have this light today. You can see everything. But the moment that power is out, it switches off, light is gone and darkness will come in. Darkness only means the absence of light in the same way. Evil only exists in the absence of God. So when evil things are going on in our lives or even our community, even our world, it only means to say that God's presence is absent. Evil can only exist in the absence of God. And peace will only exist when the Prince of Peace is present. For such a long time, humankind is at war. At war with God because of our sins. But God made a plan and showed us this plan on first Christmas that behold a child will be born and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Because if there is no God, there is no peace. And secondly, <coughs> if we know God, we will also know peace. No one has ever seen God. I have never seen God with my own eyes. But Jesus came as the image of the unseen God. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 says, Christ is the invisible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created, and He is supreme over all creation. In other words, for us to know God, we have to know Jesus, who was born on Christmas Day as we celebrate it. And for us to know Jesus, there we will know peace, because He is the Prince of Peace. Why do we need to know God? You may ask. My life is enough. I got everything that I need. I don't need God. But let me show you this. Psalms 27 verse 1 says this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So 
So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I struggle when we know God? And knowing God overcomes all our fears. Because when God is present, evil could not exist. When God is present in our lives, fear will not exist. Amen. Amen. Are you here with me? Psalms 46 verse 1 of me says this, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when the earthquake comes, we will not fear when war comes, even the mountains crumble onto the sea. Because once we know God, He is always going to be our help in times of trouble. So may encouragement to you, my brethren, friends and family, know God. You will know peace. First John 4, verse 16. Wait, in this work I close today. We know how much God loves us. And we have put our trust in His love. God is love. And all who live in love live in God. And God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment. But we can face Him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for the fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced this perfect love. To know God is to know His love. For God is of love, and love is of God. And love expels all our fears. Anybody here have a loved one? That you have a person that you love so much and so deeply. That you are willing to give up everything. But even you are willing to sacrifice your life. For the sake of the person that you love. Many of you here, parents, even moms. Oh, when a mom loves, they cannot be compared. And I'm so glad that all of us today have moms with loves us. Just like a mama bear. When, it, when a mama bear sees her cubs, her children, in danger, she could charge and face whatever enemies without fear. No matter how big, how strong the enemies are. Because that love drives her to protect, to provide, and to save. When we know God, we will know love. And when we have that love, we will have that fear. Don't be afraid, for I bring you good tidings of great joy. Today, in the city of Bethlehem, today, in the city of Bethlehem, the Savior, Yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in the city of David. As I close today, for us to experience that peace, for us to experience that love, there's one thing that needs to happen. And John said this in chapter 4, verse 15, for that love to stay in our lives and for that peace to stay in our lives for us to be able to live like Christ and therefore we will no longer be afraid of whatever happens in our lives but one thing that needs to happen 1 John 4 says this all who declare that Jesus is the Son of God of God living in them and they will live in God if there is no 
no God, there's no peace. If there's no God, there's no life. But once we know God, we will know peace. And we will know love. And we will have life. We you all close your eyes today? As we pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you have given us your one and only Son. And whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but will have this everlasting life. And we will no longer fear about death or even eternity, because we know you have given us Jesus Christ, your one and only Son. And if today you are here today, and you have not known Jesus yet. You have heard about him. You've been you've attended churches. You've heard people, preachers preach about him. You've got friends who share to you who Jesus is and he loves you. But you don't really know him yet. Because for us to know Jesus Christ requires a surrender. To surrender our old lives and accept his promise of salvation and today if you want to know him even more if you want to live your life with him i would like you to just say this quick prayer with me a prayer of acceptance a prayer of surrender a prayer of asking god lord I want to know you even more. Say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I want to know. I want to know you. I want to know Jesus. I want you today to be my Savior, to be my Lord, to be my Messiah. And today, I declare you, Jesus, as the son of the living God who died for me and took away my sins and today I surrender my life help me to know you help me to live for you and Holy Spirit I ask live inside of me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Would you all rise up today? This